back gang so okay let's jump right into this video today we are going to be using revlon number 60 and this is the dark ash blonde and we're also going to be using the number 70 the medium ash blonde and what we're going to do today are we're going to mix the two so for the dark roots i'm going to use a 6.5 g lightest golden brown by clarol um i like this color because it's not too too dark so we're going to just jump right into mixing the colors and then we're going to proceed to brush it onto the hair sure that you get all of the product out as you can see I'm not wasting no product because I actually had five boxes of color and I used every last one of them so I might have had a little bit left over after doing the closure but you want to be sure to mix all of the products together so continue to watch so my client got her hair from Ellie Pearl and she had 322 inches and a 20 inch 5x5 lace closure so as you continue to watch the video you'll notice that I'll, I'll um, add color to the closure as well but I won't go into detail because I do have a detailed video um, that I can link in the description box below so continue to watch guys definitely want to make sure that you brush in the color to make sure that it is getting on all of the strands of hair also it helps to slide that product down towards the end so you don't have to use so much product on one bundle so you want to make sure that you definitely brush it in good and sometimes I'll take the hair and massage it as well so again she got her hair from Ellie Pearl so I'm gonna proceed to doing the rest of the bundles just keep watching and I think on this bundle guys I actually put a little water on it to get that tangle out so you will see me putting a little water on the hair before it's starting to saturate it with the color so like I said just keep watching guys and if you have any questions please comment down below Okay guys, so let's jump right into putting the dark roots on the lace closure. So um, as you can see, I had already started and the color is starting to turn. Um, I did not go into detail because like I said, I do have a video showing how to do dark roots 
on a closure however it's just a different color this time so i did speed this product this part up but i do have a detailed video on how to do so but um you will notice that in a later clip the color is not going to be as dark even though i definitely liked it this color but the color that it turned out to be was actually nice being that that form for ash blonde color so keep watching guys so you can see the finished results So in this clip, I noticed that I had a little couple of spots that could use a little bit more color. So I just went in and added just a little bit more of that dark brown onto the roots. And then I'm going to proceed into adding that ash blonde and massaging that color in really, really well. And make sure to comb it through. So like I said, you can saturate each strand. So just keep watching, guys. Hey, so the closure is complete <laughs> you know you girl happy so okay let's jump right into adding a little bit of that dark root to the bundles and i'm only going to add it to a portion of the um bundles because i only want the roots to blend from the closure to those first two tracks so i'm not going to put it on all of the bundles just like i said just a small portion of the tracks because i don't want that brown all the way throughout the hair so if you keep watching you'll see what, exactly what i'm doing So I did allow the um, dark roots to sit on for 30 minutes before adding the ash blonde. As you'll see in the next clip, when I add the ash blonde, it's going to already be turned. So I did allow that to sit for 30 minutes, like I said. And as far as the bundles, I allowed it to sit 45. I know the box said to give it 20 to 30 minutes, but of course, we don't ever do, right? So I let it sit for 45. But um, the color still came out exactly how it should have. So just keep watching, guys. If you look at the top of the video you can see the the bundles have already started to turn the proper color so after i finish this bundle i'm actually going to proceed to wash them out and i'm going to do that off camera and i'm going to come back on camera after the bundles are dry and show you guys what the final results were i'm also installing these bundles on the client on youtube for you guys too so you can see the actual sleigh and how the color came out i'm so excited for you guys to see that so be sure to subscribe to my channel to see that content as well and right now you're about to see here is the actual color and to me guys the color actually looks different in different lighting sometimes it looks grayish and then other times it looks more of a ash blonde so you'll notice that when i show you the bundles you can kind of see that golden ash blonde kind of looking color popping out it's kind of hard to see on camera but the color actually changes but it's pretty it's really pretty in person and the roots are perfect so thank you guys for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe like i said and i'll see you in my next video